guys and welcome to my kitchen midnight munchies and more I am your chef Sharice and today we're gonna make vegan and gluten-free crab rangoon I've been craving these since being vegan and I figured why not make them gluten-free as well because I know a lot of the wonton wrappers that you get at the store the store-bought ones that are pre-made usually have egg in them they definitely have gluten in them I think I've seen maybe one brand um, that you can buy like I saw the brand online but I've never seen it in stores so if you have that where you live like girl just buy that but if not I'll show you how to make the wonton wrappers as well that you can also use for like dumplings and pot stickers and what have you but before I get started I did want to say don't forget that I have an e-cookbook with all of the recipes from my vegan bakery so it's called secret recipes from a vegan bakery a midnight munchies and more exclusive 46 recipes plus a bunch of extra tips and tricks uh, 71 one page is total super super awesome um, there's gluten-free recipes in there as well so I'll have that linked below that'll be on my Etsy uh, etsy.com backslash shop backslash and more store so let's jump into it first thing we need to do is to get our wonton wrapper dough ready to go so in here I have two cups of Bob's Red Mill one-to-one gluten-free baking powder now this already has xanthan gum in it but I'm going to add another quarter of a teaspoon of xanthan gum, which, hold on, let me show that to you. Boom. I'm gonna add a whole nother quarter of a teaspoon to this because I really wanna make sure that this holds together and also a teaspoon of salt. So we're gonna mix that together. Side note, I found both of these at Walmart. I also boiled one cup of water that I'm gonna start pouring in there and start getting it mixed together. Sorry, it's steamy tits. But you can go ahead and push that subscribe button while I'm mixing this together, girlfriend. So once this starts clumping together, we can use our hands. It's gonna be warm, but it's cooled down now that it's out of the pan and in the flour. And we're just gonna start pushing this together. Oh. Girl, actually feels really good and therapeutic being that warm. So we're gonna turn this out onto our surface. And as you can see, it still needs to come together. So what we're gonna do is we're going to knead this for about two minutes until everything starts coming together and it creates a smooth ball. As you can see, I no longer have any other loose bits on my counter. It's all in here. It's nice and smooth. You can make impressions into it. It's great. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover this up and just let this hang out on the counter for about 30 minutes into an hour and just let it rest. This isn't going to rise or anything. It's not a bread dough. It doesn't have yeast in it, but we want to let it rest. We don't want to let that gluten-free flour get soaked into that water more and make it easier to roll out. While our wonton wrappers are resting, I have an eight ounce package of vegan cream cheese. I'm using Go Veggie this time. That was at my store. You do you, Bill. And then to that, I'm going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder, half of a teaspoon of Old Bay, and half of a teaspoon of nori, which is just dried seaweed. And I couldn't find like a flake or anything, so I just bought the sheets and then just like smoosh it up into little pieces. So we're going to put that in there. Oh, oh, miss some. Oh, girl, don't miss that and then we're just gonna mix this together and then I have a 15 ounce can of quartered artichokes that if you watch my crab cake video same concept is we get all as much of the moisture out of it as we can and then we just blitz it a few times in the food processor or the blender so we're gonna put that in there and this is in place of our crab and that nori is really gonna help give it that seafoody flavor same with that old bay and then we're just gonna let this hang out, let those flavors marry together a little bit while we let our uh, wonton shit keep uh, resting. You feel me? You feel me? I cut my ball into four equal parts because it's gonna be a lot easier for us to work with because we need this to be super, super thin. So I have some more of that gluten-free flour, just kind of putting it down there, whip out my rolling pin, and here we go, beach. I will tell you one of the things you really want to make sure that you do is after you give it a quick roll you want to go ahead and flip it over and you want to be gentle but you want to keep flipping it or else it's going to get stuck and you're not going to be able to you know lift it up off the surface now you want to try and get these as thin as you possibly can because that's what wonton wrappers are so ideally you would take a square cutting you know like cookie cutter to cut these out I don't have one so <laughs> I'm just gonna cut by hand um so they're not gonna be perfect which is totally fine because life's not perfect it's gonna give them character just like every human isn't perfect everybody's made differently and I gotta tell you you guys everybody's differences is what makes us 
that much more special. We owe it to the world to share our differences. And, uh, you know, so I'm just cutting these into squares like a so. And as you can see, like, look at how super thin that is. Oh my God. And it's easy to work with. It's not falling apart. That's what we're looking for. And then if you wanted to use the same dough to make like pot stickers or dumplings or something like that, you certainly can. You would just probably use a circular shaped cookie cutter instead of the square. That way you can put your stuff in the middle and then fold it in half. And then that gives you that crescent moon type of shape. After you're done with those four quadrants, you take your scraps, knead them all together just like how we did in the beginning get them all nice and cohesive into your ball and then you can start rolling that out to get more out of your dough okay so I'm gonna do some of these that I'm gonna bake and I'm gonna do some of them that I'm going to fry so I kind of wanted to show you a few different ways that you can wrap these up so for the ones that we're gonna fry I'm just gonna put it in the middle there let me focus, take my water, and go around all of the edges. You wanna make sure it's nice and moistened because that's what's gonna hold it together to itself. And then you just take the corners, you lift it up, you lift the corners up. Make sure as you're doing this, you're pressing in against the filling so you don't have an air pocket. And then you have like a little, um, little crab rangoon, little crab rangoon pocket there. Little crab rangoon, oh my God. Now, for baking them, I like to do it a little bit differently. I like to put my filling a little off to the side here, and I'm gonna go in with my water, and I'm just gonna put it on this one edge in the corner, like so. And then, just like you would a dumpling, but in square form, I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm gonna press it down. Now, make sure as you're pressing down, you're keeping all of the air out, so you want it completely sealed, but you don't want an air pocket in there. And then I'm just gonna put this on a baking sheet to bake. So for the ones that I'm going to fry, I have a pot of oil on the stove and I'm just gonna fry for a couple minutes each. And then the ones that I'm gonna bake, I have my oven preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm gonna bake them for about 12 to 14 minutes. You guys, look, okay, so these are our baked ones and these are our fried ones. You can see a little bit of a difference. I mean, everything is better when it's fried, let's be honest. But I'm gonna try the baked ones first. I mean, they have a little bit of a crunch, but it's exactly how you would expect being, glue, um, not being gluten-free, but being baked. They've got a little bit, but they're baked, so, you know, you're kind of, uh, not getting the full legit. Oh, let's see the fry one, girl. Look at that. Mmm. 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 That seaweed and the Old Bay really gives it, like, let me show you. It really gives it that crab taste. Like, oh, look at it. Like, it's all melty and, like, crab rangoonie. Okay. I'm sweating up in here, girl. It's hot today. Hot and muggy. So as per usual, the full written recipe will be linked below, midnightmunchiesandmore.com. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment. Follow me on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. That'll all be linked below. If you make one of my recipes, please take pictures and share them with me on social media because it makes me so happy. And I love giving you guys all the credit of all the hard work of like cooking up something delicious. And thank you so much for joining me and thank you so much for all of those who've already bought my cookbook, which again will be linked below. And I'll catch you next time. Oh, good night, kisses, Wally wishes and reminisces. His eyes kiss and Wally wish for the full moon above. Oh, ivory dove, fashion in love, listening closely, positioning my intuition for her nutrition and ambition, nutrition and ambition. Get up. Like when you rise in the morning, rub your eyes in the morning through the skies in the morning, get up. Like when you rise in the morning, rub your eyes in the morning through the skies in the morning, get up.